Hey guys, it's Luke again. Uh, I'm going over the manifesto for this self-defense seminar and uh, we're dealing with the violent situations as you remember from the other videos and uh, here, here's the, the manifesto. The first thing on the list is a violent situation begins and ends with injury. Injuries are what, if you define violence, that is injuries happening to a person. Okay, so everything we're going to do is about injury. Next thing, injury changes everything in your favor. If you can injure the, the person who is trying to injure you first, all of a sudden you are the cause of what's happening rather than the effect. And what that means is all of a sudden, like I said just a second ago, it's changed in your favor. All of a sudden, um, instead of someone doing violence to you, you're doing violence to them as soon as you injure them. Okay? Um, injury is very objective. I'm a big guy. I was a wrestler. Uh, if someone punches me in the chest, it might hurt a little bit. If uh, you aren't used to physical contact and someone punches you in the chest, it, it might hurt a lot. See, that's subjective. Objective means that everyone can agree on it. If I break your knee, we can all agree that you have a broken knee. We don't care that it hurts. All we know is that it's injured. So what we're going to go over are things that are objective, not subjective. And if you're dealing with someone who is drunk, who's high on drugs, who's crazy, all of a sudden the subjective injuries that are common in martial arts, ow that hurts, doesn't make a difference. Okay? It doesn't hurt. What we need to do is injure. Injuries stop what's happening. Okay, they're, they're objective, not subjective. Injury stops body function. Uh, if, if someone wants to chase you and you broke their knee, it doesn't matter how much they want to chase you, their leg won't support their weight. Okay, if um, someone wants to breathe and their xiphoid process is broken, they will not be able to breathe. So violence and injury can stop bodily function. Okay, injury is permanent, and I don't mean permanent as in permanently crippled, but that can happen, obviously, and you want to be the one doing it. It's permanent across the length of the interaction. So, uh, yes, a knee can be repaired, but for the 10 seconds when someone's trying to put a knife in your throat, it's permanent. Okay, uh, that broken knee. Next, uh, injuries where physics meets physiology. And this, this one bothers um, people at my seminars uh, when I talk about what a bullet does. A bullet basically is kinetic force applied to the body and it, it breaks things, it impacts things, it rips things. And so people focus too much on the bullet. They don't focus on what's happening to the body, how can I cause that to someone who's trying to do me harm. And so what you need to learn is how to use the laws of physics to stop their physiology. So physics meeting physiology. Uh, next, injuries independent of technique. And uh, this is a hard one to swallow, especially if you are a former martial artist like I am and you spent all your time learning tons and tons and tons of techniques. You can get injured when you fall on the ground. I know someone, she fell on a soft dirt road and broke her elbow. Okay. There was no technique involved. There was a rolling rock and then boom, broken elbow. And so injury is independent of technique. If I trip and fall on you with the point of my elbow, you're probably going to get injured even if uh, I didn't give it a fancy kung fu name. Okay, injuries are equal. What that means is um, an injury is debilitating and as, it's as debilitating as the next injury. Okay, so uh, a crushed testicle is as immediately debilitating as a, um, as a crushed trachea or a gouged out eyeball. So injuries are equal for your purposes. Okay, injured people move predictably. What do I mean? I mean if you hit someone in the testicles, they're going to come up on their toes, their hands are going to drop, their hips are going to come back, and their chin's going to come forward. So when we learn a chain of techniques, um, it, you actually learn what targets will be opened next. 
So if I hit you hard enough in the testicles to break one, your hands are going to come down, you're going to come up on your toes, and your chin's going to jut forward. When your chin juts forward, all of a sudden your throat is exposed. You, because your hips are back and your hands are down and you're up on your toes, we can go for an ankle stomp and destroy the ankle. And, and so people move predictably when they're injured. When you hit someone really hard in the testicles twice, they're probably going to vomit. Okay, and that's, that's pretty darn predictable. If not, they're going to have the same heave reflex. Okay, um, injured people are helpless. And uh, that's good because if someone's trying to do violence to you and you injure them, they cannot do violence to you. Okay, so um, if, if, you, if someone comes to do violence to you in an asocial situation and uh, you break their knee, and they go down and then you drop a, a shin across their throat, they're helpless to hurt you further. You hurt them first. Um, yes, it's horrible, it's scary, it should make you a little nauseous, but that shouldn't change the reality of the situation. Um, a, a injury leads to injury. Once you're injured, uh, this builds on the principles that I just mentioned above, once you're injured, it's really hard for you to stop another injury from happening. Using that same example, if uh, you have a broken knee, it's really hard to not get knocked down to the ground. And once you're knocked down to the ground, it's really hard not to get stomped on the throat. So the injuries are a chain that lead to each other. And the last one is the very important one. I'm six foot four, 230 pounds, experienced wrestler and martial artist. Injury beats speed, strength, and resolve. I don't care how fast you are, with a broken knee and a broken elbow, you're not that quick. I don't care how big you are, uh, your eyeball is about the same size as someone who weighs 100 pounds eyeballs. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you can attack that target that is the same size. Okay, strength. Again, uh, if I can squat 600 pounds and uh, you break my hip and stomp on my throat, you're stronger than me, okay? And the last thing is resolve. People say, oh, I can take, you know, 10 hits and keep on coming. Well, if you focus on learning injury, again, because it's objective, the resolve is taken out of it, okay? Um, the, you cannot resolve to continue running with a broken knee. And so if you really wish to learn how to protect yourself and your loved ones, you uh, need to learn how to deal injuries because um, someone who's crazy or strung out on PCP, their resolve is going to be more than yours. And so, uh, and, and their resolve to take a, a fist to the jaw, they can keep on coming, but they cannot keep on coming with a uh, crushed trachea because they won't be able to breathe. They can't keep coming with a crushed testicle because they'll be vomiting into their throat. They can't keep coming with a broken knee because their leg won't support them. They can't keep coming with a, uh, a stomp to the head because their nervous system will be in shut down. And um, so that is the, the injury manifesto that we're going to cover in this seminar. Um, hope it scared you a little bit and I will talk to you real soon.